Dubs, a case of so, so near yet so far again here at Halifax. Yeah, uh, disappointed and, and frustrated and all the emotions that we love about Rugby League, isn't it? And, uh, you know, I thought that uh, we got rattled early on. We lost his composure. Um, you know, and, and as I say, you know, his, his discipline went out of the window and uh, giving penalties away, talking to the referee, things like that, frustrates the life out of me. Uh, how we were still in it half time, I don't know, you know, but we, we showed a lot of character and I thought they showed a lot of character and a lot of um, endeavour in, in, in the second half to get back into a, a, a potentially winning the game, you know, with a minute to go, we, we're in that top corner and we go for either win or you lose and, and that was it, you know, and they come down the field and and get the score uh, at the end there. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of frustration. Uh, I thought we got hammered on penalty count. I thought the game was uh, slow, rubbish to, to watch. Uh, and, and, you know, my guys are in there really, really frustrated because we want to play a brand of football that we're supposed to be trying to, um, uh, you know, we're told that on move, you move. And, 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 you know, if they call a tackle like for a move, then you've got to move in that sort of time. But when you call move, you've got to get out of there. I don't see that happening today. I thought we got caned, uh, discipline-wise, uh, and I'm not sure they were all justified. But, uh, but we'll have a look at it. Uh, I think we, we shook them a little bit, frightened them a little bit. Uh, we've got a, a lot more to come from us. I have no qualms about that. But positives, but there are some negatives. Yeah, from your viewpoint, moving on from say last year, we might have might have completely collapsed, but this time around, not so much. Oh no, we've got that bit of steel in there, and we've got people that want to, you know, want to want to compete. Uh, we've got to compete cleverly and smartly, and and, and, and that sort of stuff that, that that we talk about week in week out. You don't always have to score the pretty tries; it's just score. <laughs> you know, but I question some of the uh, again. You know, they were given plenty of points in that second half, wasn't they? You know, there were no tries until the last try of the game. Uh, they were given plenty of points. Um, Chris Wellham goes and, and gets to play the ball, and you get a, well, somebody will explain to me. I, I guess, but you know, they're the question that we're going to ask. But, but we weren't quite good enough. Uh, we'll come there. Um, we're only going to get better as we progress. There's people to come back in and challenge us, and they will stiffen us up and make us uh, a more of a, a, you know, a team that can compete against these. But. Uh, you know, we uh, we showed a lot of steel at the end there. I must say, if I can, I know that the the, um, the fans are going to be really fr frustrated, and uh, uh, I know the boys didn't come over there, which disappoints me. We just touched on it in the changing room. But please, please make sure that you don't take that out of context. My boys were busted tonight and really upset with themselves. Oh, sorry, what had gone on the game. So the frustration decided to get off the field. Um, I apologise to you all for that. Uh, we'll make it up to you, don't worry about that uh, next week and the weeks after. But yeah, it's not something we want to be associated with, but uh, uh, usually here, you'll know what usually goes on here. With what happened in the first half, was it a pretty simple team talk at the break? Obviously, like you say, 10 points, 10 points down, still very much in it. Yeah, it was simple team talk because at the end of the day, that last five minutes of the first half, we rattled them. And uh, you know, the start of the game, we rattled them. We just then come up with errors that cost us the points and, and penalties that cost us the points. Um, but I said at halftime, look, we can win this game. I, I have no qualms we can win this game. You've got to go for the full 80. And we went right to the last what, the last play there. And if we, if the wing gets the ball, he scores. If they get the ball and he said, then chances are they score. And it's one of them where it's the percentage play that we talk about a little bit more and being a bit more um, composed, a little bit more discipline and, 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 and building the pressure, which is something we'll learn from today, building the pressure. But uh, again, I, I thought we showed a lot of um, a lot of good stuff and, and a lot of uh, endeavour to get ourselves back in that game and a bit of steel. And moving on to next weekend, a nice little trip to Barra. Well, they'll get better, don't they? Uh, yeah, look, we've got a tough start. You know, we, 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 we're here today. He's finished in the top four last year. Uh, we're at Barrow, we're a team that went really well last year and got beat yesterday, so they've got a point to prove, but we just need to progress and, and, and develop and learn from the and fix up the stuff that we've got wrong today. Let's make sure I've got it right. There'll be a couple of people back, you know, and uh, there'll be some more tough decisions for me to make, but, uh, you know, Thax is over his suspension now, so he's got to come into the, to the mail, but games like that, Thax wins you.
you know that's what he does uh, Jesse should be there and thereabouts Q should be there and thereabouts so a few more edits for me next week but uh, I'm looking forward to them